Absolutely. On 15 there over Oceanside, I had a chip behind the green, and it, on my backswing, I got blown, and like I had the team or the grass mark right on the toe of the club, and I'm like, wow, I almost missed that chip shot. So I was happy to get out of there with four. All in all, though, a good day for you. Yeah. You know, I love watching you play in the wind because you're holding those shots off. You're Trying. Low trajectory shots. I mean, you're good in the wind. I enjoy it. I enjoy the challenge of it. I mean, today was really hard. Uh, I was just telling him that, you know, we didn't know whether to say get up, get down, what to tell it. We, we couldn't judge the distance very well. And uh, we had some balls going sideways out there. And my ball doesn't usually go sideways. And it, it would just get up in the wind and start, you know, it'd go 20 yards further left or right than you wanted it to. The birdie at 17 I thought was important for you. It yeah. you eight under. Uh, such up for what could be a really good weekend for you. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, I, I did what I could out there today. Uh, to get it under par was big, especially starting three under. You know, you don't want to go backwards from a number ever. But, I mean, I, I can't stress how difficult it really was out there. <laughs> you know, I love watching you play, though, the window. You play everything a little back in your stance? Try to. Yeah, is that what you were doing? Yeah, I was trying to, just to flight some shots. And, you know, I would probably get them exiting a little too far right, and they would ride the wind a little. But, um, you know, all in all, I, I controlled the trajectory pretty good out there. Lastly well, now, Rob, what do you do the rest of the day? You just enjoy it? <laughs> Bermuda? Yeah, I'll be chilling at the hotel. I got a book and uh, might sit by the pool. <laughs> All right, spin. thanks. Just in general, Ron, how mentally and physically challenging is it on a day like today when it's just gusting up the 35 miles? It's physically, you're gonna, physically tiring. Uh, and then mentally, you're like I was saying, you just don't know what to tell the golf ball to do and you, to be a cheerleader. So you're just trying to keep yourself in the fight and, uh, you know, get – you know, starting off well helped because it gave me a cushion. Like, if anyone goes bogey free today, I'll be shocked. I mean, it, it's really difficult out there. Uh, you know, I missed a three footer on 13 that, you know, was straight up the hill, but I just got blown. And so I miss hit the putt, and uh, you know, it's I'm tired. <laughs> do, you, do you get to the point where there's some shots that it's just a, an educated guess, and you just let whatever yeah, happens happen? Yeah, absolutely. You just try and hit the center of the club face and you know you win you, you had all your input and you know I'm just trying to hit it in the center and then go from there How would you grade today's round versus yesterday's um, overall I, yesterday's was better uh, today was a fight and I'm glad you know I came out on anytime you can get under par on a day like this I'm very happy with it I would like to have a few shots back but I think everyone in the field wants some back. Uh, but yeah, yesterday's round was definitely better. Do you have, like, knowing your game and you see it's windy this morning, is that, like, were you happy? Oh, I loved it. I was excited. I, you know, it's a challenge. It's, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's We're not playing in a dome. We're in, in an island in the Atlantic. I mean, you know, this isn't Palm Springs. So, you know, this is, you got to hit some golf shots. It's fun. You're, you're in at eight under. I've yeah. been waves just teeing off. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be in the top five. I think so. I, I think someone will get to double digits, though. I mean, you can you can definitely get some birdies on some certain holes where you can take advantage of the win. Uh, but there are big numbers out there. If you don't, I mean, if you try and get too aggressive on holes like 15, and you know, you try and squeeze driver down there instead of hitting four iron off the tee, I mean, you can make a big number. Uh, what am I reading? Oh, why did someone ask? I just started. I just literally bought it in the airport. It's some spy novel. I, I think it's Brad Taylor. So. Uh, Halloween tomorrow. Any cool uh, Halloween costumes you remember back in the day? Or, um, you know, an embarrassing one. I went as a baby in college. So I wore a Depends and a Binky and uh well, a bib, and that's all I wore going around to parties at Ohio State. It was pretty funny. I'm sure if there's, I'm sure if there's any photos that have been destroyed. Right? <laughs> well, we didn't have cell phones then. Remember, you got to remember how old I am. 